Today, I'm going to show you how to protect a set of workloads that are actively running in both Oracle Cloud and our on-premise data center in six easy steps using the Rackware Migration Manager. Here's a network topology. We'll be protecting a set of source hosts located in the OCI US East region and one host located on-premise in our VMware data center. The OCI hosts will be protected in an active-active configuration with syncs to compute resources in the US West region. The on-premise workload will be synced to storage and compute resources only deployed during a disaster event or a DR drill. Step one, begin by uploading the list of servers to protect. Simply drag and drop the list of servers into the Rackware RMM waves list. A detailed list of all the hosts will be displayed with the ability to individually audit and edit each entry if desired. The goals show how each host will be synced. The first two servers in the list are configured to sync to compute resources in the DR compartment. The third entry is configured to sync only to storage. Step two, add your cloud user credentials. Click on the configuration menu and add your cloud user account credentials. Here, we can see that I've added our Oracle OCI user with the necessary access to the target compartment. Step three, configure your wave for replication. Set the operations parallel count. Here I'm setting it to three, so all hosts are synced in parallel. Next, configure the auto provision option to use your cloud user and provide the necessary OCI region and compartment network information. In the background, I have the OCI production compartment visible with our two source hosts from the Ashburn region. I'll go ahead and switch over to our disaster recovery compartment located in the Phoenix region. This is where the Rackware management module instance is deployed. Step four, press play and start the sync process. The RMM will gather the metadata from the source hosts and deploy target instances of similar configuration for our active active configured hosts into the disaster recovery compartment. Everything is done automatically to clone the origin instances. We can see the RMM provisioning the target instances in the background and you have the ability to view the status of each of the host's operation by expanding their entry. Once the initial sync operation is successful, the target instances will be deployed and an exact clone of the source hosts will be running. Step five, create and apply your disaster recovery policy. Click on the DR menu item and select policies. Click on the plus button and enter your desired synchronization options. You can set a policy by schedule or frequency, including continuous sync options along with hours to exclude or future start times. Notifications can be easily configured to email only on failures to reduce the messaging load. Once the DR policy has been created, navigate back to the replication wave and attach the policy to that wave. Here's your option to start the policy now or can be started at a future date. The replication wave will convert into a disaster recovery wave and the highly efficient delta synchronization will start immediately updating both the active DR hosts and the hosts being synced to storage. At this point, all of the workloads are now protected. We have the ability to perform a manual failover or a DR test and drill through our DR configuration. You can set up automatic failover triggers or manual initiate the DR failover either live or in a drill mode. Simply press the failover button and select your option. 
All the active configured syncs will perform any necessary updates and all the hosts that were synced to storage will automatically deploy and sync the compute resources to the DR compartment. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed the presentation. If you have any questions, please contact Rackware anytime at info at rackwareinc.com.